every area of your life. At Faith Walk, the Lord shall meet your needs according to his riches and glory. Join us this and every Sunday from 10 a.m. for Sunday service, Wednesday 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. for deliverance and healing service, and on Friday from 6.30 p.m. for a prayer service. Worship with us and the Lord shall supernaturally turn your situation around. Locate Love Encounter Faith Work Ministries at Adum Abinchi Market area. You can also reach us on our social media platforms on Facebook and Instagram as Erica Say and Love Encounter Faith Work and on YouTube as Erica Say and Faith Work Love. Email us at faithworklove at gmail.com. Call us on 0275-888-888. Love Encounter Faith Work Ministries. Welcome to Love Encounter Faith Work Ministries. I know the Lord has been good to you in every area of your life. At Faith Walk, the Lord shall meet your needs according to his riches and glory. Join us this and every Sunday from 10 a.m. for a Sunday service, Wednesday 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. for deliverance and healing service, and on Friday from 6.30 p.m. for a prayer service. Worship with us and the Lord shall supernaturally turn your situation around. Locate Love Encounter Faith Work Ministries at Adum Abinchi Market area. You can also reach us on our social media platforms on Facebook and Instagram as Erica Say and Love Encounter Faith Walk and on YouTube as Erica Say and Faith Walk Love. Email us at faithworklove at gmail.com. Call us on 0275-888-888. Love Encounter Faith Walk Ministries. Welcome to Love Encounter Faith Work Ministries. I know the Lord has been good to you in every area of your life. At Faith Walk, the Lord shall meet your needs according to his riches and glory. Join us this and every Sunday from 10 a.m. for a Sunday service, Wednesday 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. for deliverance and healing service, and on Friday from 6.30 p.m. for a prayer service. Worship with us and the Lord shall supernaturally turn your situation around. Locate Love Encounter Faith Work Ministries at Adum Abinchi Market area. You can also reach us on our social media platforms on Facebook and Instagram as Erica Say and Love Encounter Faith Walk and on YouTube as Erica Say and Faith Walk Love. Email us at faithworklove at gmail.com. Call us on 0275-888-888. Love Encounter Faith Walk Ministries. Welcome to Love Encounter Faith Work Ministries. I know the Lord has been good to you in every area of your life. At Faith Walk, the Lord shall meet you. your needs according to his riches and glory. Join us this and every Sunday from 10 a.m. for a Sunday service, Wednesday 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. for deliverance and healing service, and on Friday from 6.30 p.m. for a prayer service. Worship with us and the Lord shall supernaturally turn your situation around. Locate Love Encounter Faith Work Ministries at Adum Abinchi Market area. You can also reach us on our social media platforms on Facebook and Instagram as Erica Say and Love Encounter Encounter Faith Walk and on YouTube as Erica Say and Faith Walk Love. Email us at faithworklove at gmail.com. Call us on 0275 888 888. Love Encounter Faith Walk Ministries. Welcome to Love Encounter Faith Work Ministries. I know the Lord has been good to you in every area of your life. At Faith Walk, the Lord shall meet your needs according to his riches and glory. Join us this and every Sunday from 10 a.m. for a Sunday service, Wednesday 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. for deliverance and healing service, and on Friday from 6.30 p.m. for a prayer service. Worship with us and the Lord shall supernaturally turn your situation around. Locate Love Encounter Faith Work Ministries at Adum Abinchi Market area. You can also reach us on our social media platforms on Facebook and Instagram 
as Erica and Say and Love Encounter Faith Walk. And on YouTube as Erica Say and Faith Walk Love. Email us at faithwalklove at gmail.com. Call us on 0275. God is available uh, to see you through it. So get ready for an encounter with God. Get ready. Don't be afraid. He is with you. He said it. I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Yes, indeed, he will not leave you nor forsake you. Uh, he said he is with you, and I believe him. I trust him that he is with me. Therefore, I have no fear. So the same way tonight, the Lord is going to touch any, every single person listening to us right now. Uh, the Lord is going to, through us, speak to you. So don't take this time for granted. It's 15 minutes past nine. Welcome to Faith Work. My name is Pastor Eric Osei. I'm in the house with Pastor Philip. Obin Amwako, and tonight we're going to share great things with you uh, concerning spiritual gifts, and we'll, we'll try and conclude the spiritual gifts today. We've taken a lot of time to explain each and every gift to you, and I'm sure by now you understand the importance of having a spiritual gift. Because the Holy Spirit didn't come alone, He came with a gift. And this gift, they are not repentance, there's a gift that has been given to you uh, to be used in the kingdom. Hallelujah. Let's go to uh, principal scripture, 1 Corinthians 12, from 1 all the way to maybe 12. Yeah. So now, of course, any spiritual gifts, brethren, I don't want you to be ignorant. You know that you were Gentiles carried away to these dumb idols, however you were led. When I was reading the scripture, one of the things that, uh, that struck me was that uh, Paul didn't have the opportunity to teach it anywhere, even not in the among the Jews, but he taught this among the Gentiles. And that should tell you that it's very important to, for every Gentile and non-Jewish who has come to believe in the Lord Jesus must have this gift. Why? Because, see, we were carried away with dumb idols, <laughs> however we were led. Therefore, you need a spiritual gift to be able to identify some of the things that you go through, some of the problems you find yourself in. There are so many things, the cases in your father's line, the cases in your bloodlines, and these are the things that it can only take the Holy Spirit, uh, the gift of the Holy Spirit to be able to identify some of these things. If not, uh, you'll be living in darkness. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right. Verse 3. I said, therefore, I make known to you that no one speaking by the Spirit of God calls Jesus accursed, and no one say can say that Jesus is Lord as said by the Holy Spirit. Verse 4, there are diversities of gifts by the same Spirit. There are differences of ministries by the same Lord. And there are diversities of activities, but it is the same God who works all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for, uh, for the profit of all. For to one is given the word of wisdom through the Spirit, to another the word of knowledge through the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of holy gifts of healings by the same spirit to another working of miracles to another prophecy to another designing of spirits to another different kinds of tongues to another interpretation of tongues that one and the same spirit works all these things distributing to each one individually as he wills hallelujah and verse 12 well, let's go down to 15 i think um no, 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 even 15, 31. But honestly, these are the best gifts, and yet i show you more excellent way. Hallelujah. So what are we trying to teach you today? We've, been, we've tried to bring you down from word of knowledge, word of wisdom. Uh, maybe with time, we will try and recap everything to you uh, in a brief moment before uh, we leave the studio because we want to conclude the gift of the Holy Spirit uh, tonight so that next week we can deal with other matters and other issues. Hallelujah. But we've dealt with working of miracles and uh, last week we, we, we discussed how the miracles are worked and we used someone like Elisha, for example, where an axe head fell into a pool and he just have to just get a stick to get the axe head float. Uh, it's, a, it's a miracle that is worked, and some of them we call it a quantre, or sometimes we call it uh, direct, prophetic direction and all those things. And they are all very important. They are all part of the gifts that is given to us by God. And we have to acknowledge, acknowledge all these gifts and, and, and partake in these gifts to make it work for us. But there's another gift here that we dealt with, but not too much of it, which is the gift of faith. And we want to deal with this gift of faith and maybe uh, we want to differentiate between the gift 
of faith and the faith itself. Because many people uh, just get confused that they, they have the saving faith and then we have the gift of faith. What are the differences? And just like we try to differentiate between word of wisdom and application of wisdom. People think that Solomon had word of wisdom. Solomon didn't have word of wisdom. He had wisdom. <laughs> he had wisdom. Okay, but word of wisdom is a gift from the Holy Spirit that is able to help you know things that is about to happen. Okay, so just like this, we have this the gift of faith. And we have the saving faith. I say we, we by, uh, by faith we, we believe, and those who have come to believe, have faith in the Lord Jesus shall be saved. Uh, what's the difference between the two? And tonight we're going to clear that that misunderstanding. And I have my able brother in the house, Pastor Philip Obena Mwakon. Welcome, my brother. Thank you. Your week has been good, I guess. Yes. I can yes. see the freshness in your face, <laughs> Reverend Mister. Yes, Reverend Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Reverend Mr. Jale. I know you are enjoying you are you are really enjoying your wife. Yeah, yeah. Uh, marriage yeah, yeah, is yeah. good. Marriage yeah, yeah. Is good. No, I said you enjoy your wife. Not the yes, marriage. I am. I am. <laughs> I am. Regis, Regis, are you listening? A lovely wife I've got. Yeah, know? yes. She's very lovely. Yeah. And very, very, very humble too. Sure, sure. Very, very humble. Sure. And the way you know, last time when I came home, the way she was seven, the way she would put this there and there, grouping them, See. very presentable. Charlie, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I really like her. Uh, and I thank God for her life. Yeah. And I'm sure. Uh, the Lord was preparing her for you sure, all these years, sure, and, sure, and sure, the, sure. the desires have come to pass, sure. and we thank God for that. I just thank God for that. My uh, brother, sure. before we uh, we continue, we want, yeah. want to clear the misconception about, you know, we, we talk about faith. Mm -hmm. People believe that faith is just one, the ability, uh, faith, uh, even explained in Hebrews, mm -hmm. uh, Hebrews 11, uh, and if you, let's even go there, 1101, yeah. let's go there quickly, and let's see what he's talking about mm -hmm. here. I'll say, but now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, for by eight elders obtain good testimony. By faith, we understand that the words, the world were framed by the word of God, so that the things we as the, the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. Now, there is this kind of faith. There is another kind of faith when you have put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation. Yeah. And there is another kind of faith that is also a gift. Mm -hmm. So before we, we, we continue, we need to clear the difference. Then we can focus on the, the gift of faith in okay. itself okay. so that people will have this understanding. All right. All yeah. right. We thank God so much for all faith workers, those who listen to us every time and those who um, watch us on uh, the various social media. God bless you so much. Amen. Today is Mother's Day, so... Um, oh, yeah. Happy Mother's Day to happy all mothers. Happy Mother's Day to all mothers. <laughs> <laughs> all mothers. You, you, are, you, are, you are very precious. Mm. Um, God very. created mothers very distinctly the role they play is is just so marvelous mm. and, um, i don't think um god made a child to kind of get so much attached to the mother than the father mm. and i don't think any parent um, maybe the mother loved the child more than the father. Mm. I'm, I'm saying this in in um, defiance mm. to the fact that when it's Father's Day, it's <laughs> almost like the fa fathers everybody don't. keep mute about it. <laughs> but fathers they heal the, the, the mothers and all. Mm. But that also helps us understand the role of mothers in our lives mm. because they carry the baby, they bring the baby up, they are always with the baby and stuff like that. And we all grow and get some unique connections with our mothers. Mm. And that is because of who they are and all that. God bless all mothers. I want you to know your labor shall not be in vain. Say, labor. 
um, and I just sorry and all those things. At the table, but in you know, when you're maybe born, I'm an Arab. Amen. God bless all mothers. We appreciate you very much. Now, to the gift of faith, I think the real just suppose here mm. is actually between the gift of faith and the measure of faith you have been given to live by mm. as believers. Because this whole Christian work is a faith work. Faith work, yes. We believe by faith, through grace by faith, and that is how we get saved. Now, when we begin our Christian lives, we have a measure of faith and we are responsible for that faith. Mm. We are supposed to grow it. We are supposed to nurture it to the point where it begins to answer to us. Scripture said, the just shall live by faith. And it's inscribed in about four verses of the Bible, both in the Old and the New Testament. And when you see scriptures like that, you take particular attention to it because um, by two or three, um, a word shall be established or a testimony shall be established. So the Bible says. And so it's very, very important we know that this whole Christian life is a life of faith. Mm. We are called to live by faith. We are called to live the life of faith. The Bible says the just shall live by faith. And we, we don't live by sight, but by faith. The Bible says the things we see, they are temporal. Mm. But the ones we don't see, they are permanent. Mm. And the Bible says that we know that the whole world was framed by the word. Mm. And in Hebrews 11, verse 3, now... When you come to, when you go to the verse one, he said that, um, verse two, he said that by faith, our fathers obtain a good report. Right. So it's very, very important we get to know that this whole Christian life is a life of faith. Mm. And so it comes to um, all these, um, uh, just supposing we have been making all the while, mm. that when we talk about the gifts, there is a general level where every Christian finds himself or herself. Mm. And then there is a particular unique ability that has been given to certain people alone mm. to operate it in a certain way. Now, if you have not been gifted in that way, it will be very difficult for you to operate it like mm. the Those way Those who have been gifted. Exactly. Exactly. That is why it's, it's sometimes um, you can covet, you can desire. But if it's not in the will of God or in the will of the Holy Spirit to give it to you, there is nothing you can do about it. Oh, yeah. And um, it also helps you to appreciate that um, there are people that God has really anointed for these things. The Bible says that when he was ascended, he gave gifts to, to men. men. And so people have been gifting, giving special gifts and the gift is used to help um, people help solve problems for the edification of the church and all that. It helps us to appreciate that. It doesn't matter who you are. Even in the Bible, even 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 the Bible, and um, um, I, I like it when we were drawing the conclusion the other time that there are even certain gifts the Bible didn't, um, um, I mean, Paul didn't mention, yeah. but they are right there in the scriptures mm. if you search. Because even in the Bible, you can sit on the Bible and read and read and read. But somebody can pick the Bible. Eh? Mm. And the same word you have been reading, the person can bring out the meaning, meaning. open it in a mm. way that, mm. that, that, that will shock. The Bible says that, and their minds were open to understand the scriptures. And that was when Jesus was talking to them. Yeah, They knew the scripture, but they, they had not been open to it. Mm. And it doesn't matter how you probably may spend hours on the word. You, you probably might not get it like these people that are gifted. It's true. Will teach you. See, so there are diversities mm. of the giftings. And so when we come to the gift of faith, the same thing applies here. Mm. There is the general faith God has given us. God gives us a measure of faith when we become born again. Mm. Now, it is through faith we become born again. Because if you didn't believe, there is no way you could have been born again. And so when we come into the kingdom, because it's a journey of faith, God gives us a measure. And then we work that measure 
to a point that it can produce for us. Mm. So every Christian lives by faith. Mm. It's a matter of the level you live at. Yeah. You may be living at a lower level. Somebody might be living at a higher level. And so in our day-to-day -day work, there are people that use their faith to, you know, get them things, mm. to, to acquire um, their inheritance in Christ. There are also other people that are operating in the lower levels of faith, but they still have faith. Mm. It, it works for them in a way. They still have faith. Mm. But the real thing here is that there are people that have been given this gift of faith. Now, when we talk about the gift of faith, it's the same meaning of faith. Um, um, hoping in things you have not believed. Um, um, uh, having confidence in things you have not seen. The mm. same meaning of faith. Yeah. In other words, these people have a special gift for them to have confidence or bring from the realm of the spirit things that you do not see. see. Yeah. And that they hope in things that the, the, the way some of these um, uh, this gift um, operates is that these people most of the time when it's like everybody says okay this cannot be mm. they say no no this this thing will be <laughs> yeah because they have the gift mm. they can really connect from the spirit mm. and bring into physical what everybody thinks is almost impossible yeah that is how this this the spirit the spirit works in 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 a man and that is why last week we were trying to um we we're trying to combine the two because it always works with working of miracles. miracles whenever you see the gift of faith you see the working of miracles mm. and it almost brings impossible situation into possibility mm. i like it when the bible says that um jesus waited for four days for lazarus to die before he went to the tomb now jesus called lazarus by name mm. what kind of madness is this that you can call a dead person mm, by, name. by name and the dead person can hear and the you dead person <laughs> can hear you <laughs> that is the gift of faith that's right there, there, there is an argument that the reason why jesus stood at the tomb and said lazarus come forth is that if jesus had just said come forth all the dead in that cemetery would have frozen yes and so that you're is, specific exactly <laughs> and that is because of the awesome. power that he has <laughs> Now, this is a gift of faith. Now, the Bible says that, and after Jesus had heard that Lazarus was sick, he remained. Now, he told the disciples that Lazarus is, 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 is asleep. Mm. Let's go and wake him up. They said, if he's asleep, he will wake up. Yeah. Well, why should we bother ourselves? Mm. He had to come down and talk in their language. Mm. And there is the language of faith. Exactly. So, he told them that, okay, fine, Lazarus is sick. And then finally, they told him that Lazarus is dead. Now, we all know the state of death. Sometimes when a person is sick, you probably can do something about it. But when the person is dead, it's almost like all hope is gone. Mm. Now, you would find out that Jesus had raised about two people from the dead. Mm. See, So, um, the first one he raised from the dead, the girl had died freshly. Mm. So, when Jesus got there, Jesus himself said that she's not dead. She's sleeping. Sleeping. Good. And the Bible said Jesus sent them away. Mm. And then she called the child by name and the child rose up. Now, you could see the controversy here. Mm. Number one, Jesus himself said the child was asleep. Mm. Number two, he sent the people out so they didn't see what went on in there mm. so there was enough room for doubt mm. some said no this can't be true after all he himself said the child wasn't dead yes she was asleep <laughs> the second one was when jesus raised the the child of the widow um when he was going to the city of Nain. Mm. now the bible says that the boy was the only child of the mother mm. and so when jesus saw the cemetery train mm. he had compassion so he himself stopped them they didn't ask him to and he inquired and asked and they told him that is the only child of the mother i think it really did something to jesus mm. that wow mm. and, the, and, 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 and the woman was a widow mm. so how can a widow lose, lose the son mm. who is going to take care of her 
Jesus stopped them. Pray for the child. Lay hands on the child. The child got back to life. Mm. Now, the Bible says that after that miracle, John the Baptist sent word to Jesus to ask if he was the Messiah. <laughs> Now look, look at look at what is going on here. John mm. the Baptist. Don't forget that John the Baptist was the one that introduced Jesus into ministry. Oh, even affirmed his ministry. Exactly. <laughs> he said, "Behold, the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world." <laughs> and he himself acknowledged. He said, "Me, I didn't know him, but God told me that in whom the Spirit of God shall come, come upon, upon, he is the one." Everybody heard it. Now, this was this same John who was having doubt about who this man was. And that was after Jesus had done that mighty miracle mighty miracles, yeah. of raising the dead. <laughs> now, in the first instant, the child had died freshly. Mm. In the second instant, the guy had died, mm. had been laid in state, and he had time no kusi, you know? mm. So you could see, say, we no wo no na check a cry. A cry we di no wo wo fresh na no. Any e jaren di na to we no wo wo. Yet the not to what did the Nevia ye could see him and Jesus raised him, and then there was controversy because John himself started doubting the guy's ministry, <laughs> and so now John eh, doubted the any and a Pharisee for no so. Um, 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 so even when Jesus finished doing that miracle, it didn't work, mm. and so when Jesus saw that Lazarus was sick, many people wonder why the Bible will say that. And when Jesus said that Lazarus was sick, he remained. Mm. I mean, that's a paradox. Mm. If, you, if you are closer to somebody and you hear that something really terrible mm. has happened to the person, definitely you, you, go, you immediately. Definitely go. Exactly, yeah. immediately. Mm. But when Jesus heard that Lazarus was sick, he remained. And the only reason why Jesus would do that is because he needed the showdown mm. to prove to the people that, listen, this thing about raising the dead is not mm. fake. It's <laughs> <A> simple, <cry. laughs> But, but interestingly, yeah. it's not easy if you don't have the gift of faith. Exactly. It's not easy to see a dead person mm -hmm. and say, dead person, rise up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I am just shit. There are other people who are. Even if God tells you to go and read the devil, and say, right, don't the challenge. But that's what the gift of faith comes in. Exactly. Because to man, it's impossible. Mm. But to God, all things are possible. possible. Now, with Lazarus, he had died. He had been laid in state. They waited for Jesus. He didn't come. Mm. They had put the thing into the tomb. And it was four days. Mm. Now, every doctor will tell you, say, it say, Obi would, that whole four days, sir, the body will start decomposing. Yeah. And that was when Jesus needed that showdown. Mm. And it was only the gift of faith that could be operational here. Mm. Because number one, Lazarus was sick and he died. And to say, who raising the pan crab back to life? Uh, the person would have come into the sixth state after the person has been raised from the dead. Mm. Oh, yare, no. And he says, Who you are not for him and he pan or yare than into or barbe yare. And that's all by a lady. But the gift of faith mm. had to do, do all, these, all things these things at a go. Wow. So the gift of faith is that gift that look at impossible situation mm. and it's like, No, it can be done. Mm. And sometimes, when people are operating in such giftings, Exactly. Mm. But it is because you don't have the gifts. Yeah. Or you don't know how the gift operates. operates. That is why I, I, I'm, I'm thinking that when Jesus said, you know, he had told Mary, or say, Se media ube munyam. Or say, ura minim se obe sorry. Mm. Uh, in the resurrection, I said, "Listen, I am the resurrection. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to wait. I'm the resurrection right now." So, after he cried, he said, "Show me the tomb." Mm. And then the sister said, "Lord, at this time, I mean, or yari da what di? Me and him say we be to me a babe bomb paya mochi ya. Na se se mumu di wo wo enya se wo wo kura to say akura ni di eni biu." And and I said, "Well, who are feeling it? Then they could see no. Well, who? The jury no had the dano. At the matter that did not do, I could see no. It is said here. I said, 'Man can't share. I say, 'Say we did the Abu Hunyan kupoi ni And Jesus stood there. And when he stood there, he didn't pray. 
He said, Lord, I thank you for hearing me. Mm. She said, No, we did can you go exactly what what why why for me? And 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 the good news is that so Jesus was teaching us something. I was saying, whatever whatever you ask, know that you have received. Yeah. And because when when he was told that uh, Lazarus was sick, immediately he prayed. Mm -hmm. Because the, the the when he got to the tomb, it's like Father, thank you for hearing me. Sure. He knew, say God has already heard. Exactly. Him. And based on the fact that God has heard mm -hmm. him, he that he doesn't need to doubt God. Mm -hmm. Therefore, God will be able to raise yeah. him. So that faith alone in God knows that the ability for him to raise the dead is just right there. Exactly. And he took chance of it and called upon exactly. Lazarus to come. Exactly. And, you know, when Jesus had cursed the fig tree, the, the disciples were like, um, yeah, look at the tree. The, the tree that the Lord spoke to mm. yesterday. And Jesus made a, a profound statement. He said, have faith in God. Mm. Have faith in God. Mm. And he said, if you have faith, you can say to this mountain. Mm. You can say to this mountain. And the mountain will obey you because you have faith. So if you're approaching the mountain with faith, the mountain will obey you. Mm. Also, every mountain in life mm. has, has yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And it is made in a way to obey a man of faith. Mm. Uh, say it again. Every mountain in life has yes. Mm. And it is made to obey a man of faith. Mm. See, I thank God because throughout these giftings, we have been able to compare all the um, various levels of operations. Now, if a man is a man of faith, if you're a man of the word, you're a man of the spirit, you are prayerful. Mm. You are always building upon your life and you are obedient mm. because when it comes to faith, obedience is the true mark. Mm. Mm. You're obedient. You, have, you, 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 you will get to know that your faith will reach a level whereby it is able to move mountains. And what I mean mountains is that able to do heavy duty things in mm. life. Serious things in life. But there are people who are gifted. Now, this thing is a gift. Mm. It's a gift. God gifts people to oppress such ways. Mm. So, there are people who have the gifts. And so, the thing may seem impossible, but they are like, no, it will work. It will work. And lo and behold, even when men have already given up on it, they come into the scene and then it works. Mm. I think is is a gift that if you probably are coveting or desiring or praying to the holy spirit you should pray for this gift it's, it's an amazing gift and that was the same gift that was operating in stephen exactly and because it was full of the holy spirit full of faith and in acts 6 8 it says, and stephen full of faith and power did great wonders and signs among the people uh, because it's of his faith, he knew things. He was speaking to things, and things were getting changed. But mm -hmm. the, the only difficulty in 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 our, in our current um, uh, dispensation is this: that we have seen some of these. Sometimes you may have the faith, but it doesn't come the way you expect. Okay. And based on that, it gives people some level of fear that a hey, idea may be is it going to work. Mm -hmm. But sometimes in those even with the with the gift of faith. Sometimes there are some issues that they are confronted that even they, 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 they even uh, fear that, hey, Charlie, this one. But God normally comes through because the gift has been given to you. Mm -hmm. You have been able to speak to things. You're able to call things forth by faith. But sometimes one can say, hey, Charlie, this one kind of work. But once, even in your doubting moments, God is able to make those things happen. Mm -hmm. That gives you even more faith. That also boosts your faith to the point where you fear nothing now yeah. because God has even done this. And yeah. this is a very special gift that all of us must really cover. Yeah, definitely. And you know, um, doubt and fear, they, they, are, they, they are what I would say attackers mm, enemies, of faith. Enemies, enemies of faith. faith. See, Jesus said, if you shall say to this mountain and will not doubt. Mm. In other words, if you'll be able to deal with doubt, then you will be like, you'll be free to operate your faith. Mm. Mm. When, when, when Peter was, um, uh, was walking on the sea after Jesus had said, come. 
and the Bible said the storm started coming and he started sinking because he looked at the boisterous mm. storms that was coming. When Jesus had taken him out of the sea, he asked him, why did you doubt? Why did you doubt? Because he, he doubted and, 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 and the doubt was what was impeding his faith. Now, what you will find out is that when people also also it's a supernatural ability. Mm, oh yeah, it's a super. It's mm. not something you can even make up. Mm, you can't. It's not something you can even make up. You can't because these people, because f fear and doubt are enemies of faith, they have been given a certain level of power over fear and doubt. Mm. In fact, you you would doubt. But they won't. Mm. And it's also because of the many experiences, experiences thank that you. God has used them to mm. accomplish. Mm. You know, the Bible says we overcame him by, by the, the blood, blood of the Lamb, Lamb and by the words of, of our, our testimonies. testimonies. And so when God does one, you put it there mm. as a reference to mm. the next thing he's going mm. to do. And the devil is always afraid of that. Mm. Because when he knows that you know the reference, that, okay, God was able to do this. It was a seemingly impossible situation. And why not now? Why not now? And that really boosts your faith to exactly. do more. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. And so these people are given a certain level of supernatural ability over doubt and fear. Mm. It's like they, they see, they feel it, just like you're saying. But they really don't pay particular attention to mm. it. Because you, the person who probably is not operating by that gift, when you fear and doubt, you will start moving or acting according to fear and doubt. Yes. They will see it. Mm. They will feel it. They may mm. sense it. Mm. But they don't really pay particular and, and attention. And even sometimes this fear, it's not like you, the person that fears. Sometimes the devil speaking to you. Yeah, definitely. Speaking fear to you. Because this has happened to me before. I remember there was this serious case that came, that came before me. There was this woman... Who couldn't walk okay. and who, in fact, seeing having this seeing it by your eyes will really scare you. Yeah. And when the woman was brought during our, our, our counseling time, I think it's somewhere two two years ago. Okay. And and she came. In fact, the situation was very horrible. And then was started speaking. This one day, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> this one quite the empire. You know, the devil spoke. But I, if I was moved by fear, I wouldn't have even bothered praying for her. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, let's start the okay. But I'm say, I just grabbed her, rise up and walk. I didn't even wish time even praying. Rise up and walk. And the sick woman started running. That time we were doing counseling, so the whole auditorium was, okay. was free for a woman. I said, run, 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 run. And she kept on running. This one, the devil may speak to you, but your action will determine whether you have the faith exactly. or not. And even based on this, that's why for, for someone like me, I don't fear to tell, to, to declaring to you that you are healed because I know for sure that 100% God will do it. And exactly. he has done it so many times. Exactly. And I, I recently, I, I even sh shared with you, there was a man who was carried, a thick tall man, yeah, carried... Yeah. That Nigerian. Yeah, the Nigerian man. Carried all the way into from, from Pragya. Took him, about four men carried him to the auditorium. The auditorium mm -hmm. is, is on top of the yeah. building. And strangely, in fact, I didn't even pray. I said, rise up and walk. And this man just got up and he started walking. <laughs> and there was this little, the, 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 man's, the, the, the man's son okay. was like, oh, mommy, is, is, is this man Junior Jesus? <laughs> and it's, it's sometimes the, the things that we see are very, very scary. Sure. But it's those with a gift of faith fear nothing exactly they, they are not afraid of being death exactly. like somebody like steven even when he saw death coming he was not afraid mm -hmm. he was still speaking and speaking mm -hmm. and speaking until mm -hmm. they killed him so sometimes this gift is, is is a gift that uh, i believe everyone who wants to see extraordinary things uh, by god in your life yeah. must convert this gift exactly. and it's a very serious thing sometimes it's not even on healing or any other, sometimes about your own situations. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you may have a court Issues case and then you can declare. Remember, I had a court case some time back. Somebody told me, Oh, go, go and see the judge, and the judge uh, will help Ghana. And I said that if I, if, if I see the judge, I've disrespected God mm -hmm. because God is, I said, the heart of the king is with the Lord. Sure. And he'll turn it. So sure. I'll have to sit in my room and turn the heart of the king to me. Sure. <laughs> and and in fact, when it happened, when I spoke that, I even acted. 
on my faith by something that hasn't been given to me, I started constructing. <laughs> the court has not declared, but sure. I started constructing. And everyone who watched me, even those I, I was lit litigating with, they were surprised that this guy is actually con constructing yeah. on something. And that was... <laughs> against the order of the court. The order of the yeah. court. And they, they even uh, uh, filed for contempt. And they filled the contempt. And that was the beginning of the victory for me. And they themselves said, I'm sorry, I'm in Sasso. Let's come for settlement. Yeah, we are all done. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> you see? So, a seemingly impossible situation. That yes. is how these gifts manifest mm. itself. Working of miracles, the gift of faith. That is how they work. And 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 sometimes it, it just turned the whole situation around. Because man, as we are, we have limitations. Mm. There are certain things you go through or certain th situations you enter in m man will definitely give up on you yeah man will definitely give up on you and 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 it, it so happens that um how can a doctor call for um a, a dead person i mean they, they call it oh he's a spa mm. so sometimes they check the pores they check things like that and, and stuff like that recently something happened in our ministry and um the doctor had called off you know they 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 check everything the vitals and it's like okay the time of death something 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 they wrote it the doctor did that and went away mm. and uh, will be a honum and a blessed communion it was a calipo and bread mm. <laughs> <laughs> California bread. The person started acting out. I did a doctor call it the thing. And when a doctor has really called person dead, I mean there is seemingly nothing you can do clinically about exactly see because there is a higher source, there's a higher power. Um we 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 this whole thing is a supernatural life, see. And I think these gifts kind of um, bring to bear the supernatural side of God. I like it with the miracle of Jesus feeding the 5,000. Mm. Now, which kind of signs mm. can explain five loaves of bread and three fishes mm. that can feed 5,000 people? This is impossible. Possible. But Jesus, this, the Bible say when he said, he asked them, feed them. And they were like, even eight months' salary cannot amount to this. Mm. And eight months' salary is like 80 million or mm. 8,000. Mm. If we are maybe given the average salary of maybe a like 1,000. In the hungry people are eighty million. Eighty million. You can see it. But the Bible says that, but Jesus knew what he would do. Jesus knew what he would do. And that's exactly it. They said, let them sit down. Say, hey, Papa, how we? Faith was in action. Mm. He, he, he blessed the thing and started giving to them. According to theologians, it's like the more they were sharing, the more the food was becoming plenty. Mm. See, I mean, how, which kind of science can it, explain it's, this? It's impossible. It's impossible. And the way Jesus did it, he just blessed it. Exactly. It's so simple. Exactly. Men of faith have uh, they, they are just too simple. <laughs> and things work. I remember back in the day when my mom was sick. I, I was always at Confonochi, and I, I I became friends friends with some of the nurses, and I was telling them that my mom has been here for a long time. My mom will definitely go home. She will not die. And even if she dies, I'll raise her. And it was like, hey, Master, how will be any beside her? <laughs> and and I, I threw a certain challenge that I knew by faith. I didn't have any doubt that my mom would raise up, okay. will rise up even okay. when she dies. But I wasn't expecting her to die. I know I was just expecting my faith and, the, and until the reality came up. So <laughs> I went there to visit and I was told my brother, my senior brother has already been there. Okay. And he's in the doctor's office. So I should go and join. Because they don't want to tell us immediately because I was always there in, at the hospital. Okay. And I went to <laughs> the doctor. The doctor told us that uh, we are sorry to inform you that your mother cannot make it. Uh, in fact, uh, she's dead. I was like, wow. And then they went there with my, uh, me and my brother went to see the body. Okay. And we were pushing her 
Mummy, mummy, mummy. <laughs> and my, my mummy was not talking. <laughs> was not responding. Even if even if she dies, <laughs> I'm, I'm 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 gonna raise her. And the nurses were were looking at me, yeah. waiting for me to take action. <laughs> And then I saw my brother started making for, making phone calls, and I told my brother, "I my and I started praying. I put my hand on on my mother's stomach. I said, "Mommy, you are going to rise." <laughs> and I prayed for 15 good minutes, and all of a sudden, as will be a wada wabo pitri. Kai, we want to see you. I pitri pitri. Then Waji boom kai waji boom was sorry at last. And my brother was like, Wabaranum, Mommy, you've risen up. I shook it off. For three good weeks before she died. Nedrian Konanum. Wow. Near the Mamma Nedriania, just said the fat a friend say tube tube and eddy mamma. And the numin in a cry crow. But when she woke up, this is what she said. That's right. brother, <laughs> So you have to rush to as a The way my mother ate that food, eh? <laughs> the, the nurses and doctors they were shocked. It's like wow. This is amazing. That's right. And that's what God can do. Yeah, Though my sure. mom died later on. Yeah, in in fact, right. she died five days later. Because the Lord told me your mother is going to die. But yeah. I wanted to prove to you yeah. that you, you, the power to raise the dead has also been given to sure. you. So don't be afraid. Just be bold. And that's why he took boldness. Because seeing the dead body part, yeah, sure. trying to raise the dead body, sure. it will take a supernatural ability Definitely. and faith to do Definitely. this. That, that's why That's why it has to be given to you. Yes. It has to be given to you. Mm. Now, you, you by your own faith can really raise your faith level to a certain degree mm. and make it work miracles and stuff like that. But this is a special ability mm. that are given to a selected number of people. Mm. You may covet, you may desire, the Holy Spirit can choose to give it to you at will mm. and pay what he's using you to do on this earth. Mm. But the point we are trying to establish is that there are people that have been given the special abilities and they really act most of the time in, in seemingly impossible situations and they get the results done. Mm. They have supernatural boldness and they have ability, confidence mm. in the Lord. Sometimes so much confidence you you you, you even you even wonder how they amass such mm. confidence mm. in God and they have it against um against doubt against fear and all that and and, and somebody who says so don't they fear don't they sometimes you might even be um um scared about their pronunciation and mm. their declaration mm. that's and true it is not like they don't fear mm. the spirit that is moving in them and using them no they can't allow fear to 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 win or be considered mm. and and that is because they have been given such abilities to operate like that mm. so that is how the gift of faith is i think everyone May, may, may desire such a gift and and, and, and it's a wonderful gift it's, it's um, a wonderful uh, you wonderful gift that's no not problem. many people will like you based on that because i said what people uh, think is impossible with you you come and say it is possible sure. and that is what the gift of faith is all about and and I, and I hope that if you want if you want this gift you can pray and god is, is going to give you definitely it. and and this, this is something that you don't have to worry about it's for your own good to have the gift of faith it's for your own good and sometimes you know for this even for this gift to even operate you have to even sometimes even fail many times because it's it is through the failure that you still push that will bring you that that, that gift also the thing about spiritual gift is that seriously the thing we call failure is not failure mm. Mm. it's not failure mm. because god supernatural work david made a profound statement he said come and let me teach you the fear of god mm. this whole supernatural work is a work we learn mm. And when you are learning something, you are from the unknown to the known. Mm. Most of the time, God has to deal with you severally for you to know that this is a constant way God works. Mm. 
I think the only way the person can be blamed is when you are doing something that is not from God. Mm. Because one day we will stand before God and give accounts of this gift that we have been given. Because it also comes with responsibilities. Oh, yeah. Un to me, in fact, gift in the open. Because anyone out the mouth all have to go back to glorify God mm. and to fulfill His purpose. Mm. Especially when you know you have the gift of faith. Uko Oko Cemetery, I want to. <laughs> you want to raise all, all the dead people there. Uh, uh, the, this faith, Oko, where I am, yeah, Definitely. Because and, and, you have to be. It's the, it's the spirit that moves you. Mm -hmm. That, that makes your utterances mm -hmm. different. Mm -hmm. That you know, there are some, there are some things you know. Say this, a wow horn in Arica. We 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 in your faith exactly. A wow horn in a washer that be me. Yes, sir. Exactly. Yeah. So 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 because they 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 are also responsible for these gifts is is very very important. Because one day we will stand before God and give accounts of the is a gave gift to men. Mm. The Holy Spirit gives as He wills. Mm. We are only taking charge of it. And that is why when God has even finished using you, you don't send the gift away. He mm. takes it and gives it to another mm. person. So, <laughs> so, 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 so it's, 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 it's a very good gift, I think we all should cover Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And uh, I'm, I'm very happy about this gift because uh, many who are listening to us are going to flow into this gift. Seriously. Some of you, and I know not more than, not less than 10 people are coveting these gifts right now. And the Lord is going to give to them right now, even as they listen. Let me open the phone lines. It's 10 o'clock exactly. 03 220 03-220-83596. 03-220-83598. Uh, give me a call right now. And if you're sick in your body, the gift of faith is right here. The, the power to heal is right here. And you're going to heal, going to be healed instantly. So please give us a call right now. Uh, if you are going through some things you don't understand, you need... Uh, a word of knowledge, word of wisdom. Hey, the power of God is available here. So get ready. 03 is Good evening. Good evening, sir. Yes, please. So let me where you're calling from. Uh, my name is Kofi. I'm calling from Kofi. Your name is? Kofi. Kofi? Yes, sir. Kofi? Yes, sir. Ah, let me hear you, bro. Yeah, I have a very severe uh, uh, pain. And I want you to say to me. A, a severe? This pain. Waste pain. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Are you ready for your healing? Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, I command the severe waste pain to disappear from his waist now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My brother, check your waist. You are healed now. Thank check you. it, check it, check it, check it, check it. Give me confirmation. Check. Check. Move. What you couldn't do previously, just do it. You will not feel the pain. Okay, okay, it's okay. It's okay now. It's okay now. Yes, sir. You don't feel the pain? Yeah. Hallelujah. My brother, give glory to God. Yeah. Are you there? Yes, I'm, I'm here. Are you yeah, giving I'm glory here. to God? Yeah, yeah. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. My yes. Lord, I thank Hallelujah. You. Hallelujah. You see, you see how simple the healing is? Yes. Yeah. Yes. God bless you for calling. And I thank God for, for healing you right now. All right. Bye for now. 03 uh, If you're sick in your body, give me a call right now. If there's anything that you want you want God to help you with, just call us. I have another call up. Good evening. Okay. Uh, hello. Yeah. Hello. Yes, sir. Your name and where you calling from? From your name is Jones. Ousu. Ousu from Kwada. So, so let me hear you. But I want to know whether God has something in front of me because I don't know what my future is. You want to know if God has something for you? Yes. Because you don't know what you where. Okay. All right. You see, one thing about God, that He has good thoughts. Say the thoughts that I have for you, they are not evil. They are good. Okay, so definitely God has good thoughts for you. I said to give you a hope in the future. So you have a very bright future with God. Except that you don't know. Okay? okay. So this way, eh, go back to God and ask him. I said, whatever we ask, he will answer, right? 
Okay. So if you want to know what, what lies ahead of you, he will show you. Hmm? Okay. Oh, you want me to t um, you, you want me to tell you? Yes. And I've already told you the mind of God. I see he's gonna give you a hope and a future. And for that for that reason, there's a bright future for you. Okay. Only that you need to get closer to God and love him and obey his commands. Once you do that, things will be more easier for you. Okay. All right, and the way will be very clearer for you. Is that okay? Okay. All right, also bless you. Thank you. All right, bye for now. Zero three two two zero eight three five nine six zero three two two zero eight three five nine seven zero three two two zero eight three five nine eight. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, sir. Your name and where are you calling from? Samuel calling from. Samuel calling from where? Swami. Swami. Samuel, let me hear you. No, please. I'm headache. You've got severe headache. All right. And you want God to heal you? Yes, please. All right. Now, do you believe they're going to receive your healing now? Very sure. Father, yes. I thank you for healing your son. Severe headache. Today is your last day. And this hour is your last hour. Severe headache. Bye-bye yes. from now. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for healing your son. Amen. Amen. My brother, check your headache. You can move, move, whistle like you've never whistled it before. Uh -huh. no, I <laughs> don't feel it again, right? Whistle, whistle. A design. Echo. Hello? Your, your line is breaking, pal, Kafra. Hello. Hello. Uh huh. Utino, as I say. I feel, I feel Utino my ha ha. As I say, I call Unti Pembi. I will see Utino in a Wanti Pembi. Hallelujah. I dare radia say. Minya, minya bema. Kona kwa kuto na di ye radia ye. Sawa sawa ya race si ya. Why? All right. Bless you. All right. Uh, bye for now. Zero three two two zero eight three five nine six zero three. Two two zero eight three five nine seven zero three two two zero eight three five nine eight. Good evening. Oh, I've lost this one. Sorry, I've lost you. Uh, let me take another one. Oh, I've lost you. Good evening. Good evening, Pastor. Yes, your name and where you calling from, sir? My name is Kwame. Kwame. Pastor. Kwame, let me hear you. I'm calling from Sunyani. Calling from Sunyani. Oh, wow. Kwame, how can we help? Please, that was last three weeks, I just called. You called last three weeks? Uh -huh. Yes. About a job. Mm -hmm. And I'm still insisting for you to also help me out again. You want me to pray for you again? Yes, sir. So that you can get a job. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you open this door for him. Father, once the door is open, no, let no one shut that door. Father, what he is looking for, Lord, let it come as he wishes that his joy will be full. Thank you, Lord, that you've heard me. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. My brother, are you mad about what? Amen. Minstrel. Mm? Let me offer. All right. God bless you. God bless you. All right. 03220 Good evening. Good evening. Yes, dear. Your name is where you calling from? I'm pleased with I'm calling um, your name is sorry uh, uh, your line is very bad kindly move away a bit from where you are is it better please yes your name again i'm patient please still patient patience yes please okay Hello. patience Abrepo, patience from Ab abrepo good patience let me hear you okay uh, i have to use a bad dream over You've been having a series of bad dreams. Yes, please. Um, you may not see your cousin. It's such a light in the Still, please, the line please, is, please. I don't know. Zofo, can you hear him? Can you hear him? I only heard a series of bad dreams. Yeah. I, I only heard a series of bad dreams, but all the rest that you've been saying, I, I don't really hear you clearly. Okay. I'm saying that. Uh-huh. It's better over, now. 
about two weeks now, consistently I've been having bad dreams. Hey, can you um, tell me? Can you tell me one of the dreams? Okay. Um, sometimes you see yourself naked. Mm -hmm. Other times, uh, being forced to serve under somebody. Mm -hmm. uh, seeing dead people, I can count no less than uh, four of my own relatives that I've seen within a space of six, four, five days. Mm. Um, a whole lot of I mean, eating and all of that. It's not and eating in, a, in dreams as well. In dreams and mm. stuff like that as well. No, mm. um, it's not very. Mm, it's and not. I've been feeling so weak. Feeling weak. Uh, let, let me let me let me give you a bit of interpretation of the dreams that you just you just uh, uh, told me. With the eating, you, with the eating in dreams, that's why you are feeling weak. Because mm -hmm. the eating, the food that you are being fed in the dreams, they are all poisonous foods that is supposed to bring sickness to your body. Mm -hmm. Now you see dead people. It means, mm -hmm. you know, the dead and the living. We don't have any connection. So unless God is speaking th to you through the dead people, you're not supposed to be having dreams seeing dead people. Definitely. If you do, it means God wants to. But if not, it means that you are very close to your grave. And that's why you've been eating. So the, the eating bringing sicknesses and the sicknesses that is going to lead you to your grave. Now let me take you also back to where sometimes you said you, 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 you are naked, right? Mm -hmm. Even in dreams, these are shameful things that will happen to you even before you die. The, the thing is, the agenda is that the, the devil wants you to live a life of unhappiness, that you live a life of shame until you die. That is the agenda of the devil. But when you have <laughs> such series of dreams and it keeps occurring, it means you have not prayed enough to get rid of that. Because when God, when you get, we get these dreams, God has given you an assignment to pray. So you, you need to stand on the dream and pray. I know sometimes you may not understand the dream exactly what uh, the dream is trying to tell you. But at least I've given you an idea. So from today, I'm going to pray for you though. But also pray against any poison in your system that is creating sicknesses for you. You're going to pray against death. And also going to pray against shame. And also... One of the things that you didn't tell me even in the dream, one of the things also, one of the dreams that you also have is that you also always find yourself uh, at, at school. Yes. You, you, yes. Very. Yes. Very. Most yes. times, yes. At your very. old school. Uh, at your, my primary school. Your primary school, exactly. Yes. It means your, your life is not, is not moving forward. Your life is retrogressing. Your life, instead of you moving where God wants to uh, put you, you are rather going backwards. And all these things, uh, I don't know. There is another dream that you also had that you you one, one, one of your shoes were removed. Not like it was removed, but like you were we you were walking, and then one of them <clears throat> was removed. But when you turn around to to uh, to, to, to to find it, the the slipper you were wearing, it wasn't there anymore. All these are things that brings you backwards. These are dreams that bring you backwards, and you, you are very fortunate that God reveals such dreams to you. So that you can pray. So let me pray for you right now. Okay? Yes, and once I rebuke the devil, today you're not going to have those dreams again. Amen. Okay? Amen. You're not going to have those dreams again. Your dreams will be sealed. Father, I pray for your daughter right now. Lord. I rebuke the assignment of the enemy against her life. The enemy wants to kill her. But her death should be in shame. Father, I rebuke the spirit of retrogression. Mm -hmm. The spirit of toil. Get away from, from her right now in the name of Jesus. From today, your life will move forward. From today, you are not going backwards again. From today, I speak over your life that every darkness around you shall receive light. Father, I pray removing every poisonous sicknesses that has been put in her body. The, the food that was fed to her in the dream, that is supposed to build up sicknesses in her body. And the sickness will start from her heart. And her heart will begin to pain and, and to, to, a certain, to a certain level that will increase her blood pressure and her blood sugar. That will cause her death. Father, I pray, counseling all these things in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I preserve your daughter's life. And from today, I block access to her soul, spirit, and body. 
Father, grant her the joy that she needs. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. My sister, you are blessed. Amen. Any heart condition is gone. Amen. Okay? Amen. Amen. You are free. Amen. Bless you. Yes, sir. Have a great night. Sure. All right. Zero three two two zero eight three five nine six. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, your name and where you calling from? I'm um, Pamela. Calling from Abbeville. You are Pamela. Calling from Abbeville. All right, Pam. Let me hear you. Um, Master. Um, this god mother of mine, who is a contractor, and the government is owing her for more than a year now. Normally, when she's completed her contract, it doesn't take a year for her to get her money. And this time around, it's keeping. It has. It has taken too long. Yeah, yeah, it's keeping long. Uh, and then, uh, am I am I in And we are all living in luck. Oh. Uh, what am I to concern? Mm. Because my husband gave us some amount, and then now school has reopened, and we don't even have any money on us to pay for children's fees. And oh. we are serial to live in luck. Uh, don't worry. Don't worry, okay? I'm going to give you seven days. I'm not going to pray for you. Mm -hmm. okay? okay? Today is Sunday, right? Yes, sir. By Saturday. By Saturday. Mm -hmm. Okay? The money for your children's school fees and the money for your upkeep between you and your husband shall be provided. Do you believe that? Yes, I do. You do believe that? Yes, I So mark do. my words. Today is Sunday, the eighth of May. By Saturday. Mm -hmm. mm, by Saturday. So expect it either on Monday, Tuesday, but enter Saturday. Mm -hmm. The money for your upkeep and the money to pay your children's school fees shall be given. Don't ask me how. God knows how. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Okay? When it comes, call and share your testimonial. Even if you don't get through, even if you don't get through it, call my private line and share. Or send me a voice note, and I'll play your, I'll I'll, I'll play a testimony on radio for you. Yes, please. I'll do that. All right, bless that. God bless you. And and God please, you. Uh, tell your friend or your God. Is it, do you say your godmother? Yeah, yeah, my godmother. Okay, tell her say, he left you under Roma. I'm minding this guy, but for 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 uh, for 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 her sake. All right, that she should expect the money. It, uh, it's not in May nor in June, mm -hmm. but you should expect it in the month of August. Month of August. Okay, so tell her to endure in the next few months. Um, All right, okay. and it will come. All right, just I just give her that assurance the money will not be locked up, but it's coming in, oh, in August. Okay, okay. Oh. all right, thank you. Thank All right, you're welcome. Bless you. Zero three two two zero eight three five nine six. Good evening. Good evening, Pastor. Yes, your name and where you calling from? Benjamin. 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 Yes. Let me hear you, Benjamin. Pastor, lately I've been having issues in my relationship. We are together planning to get married. Lately, we have having issues to the extent that she says she wants to be alone. I don't know why, but I just. What do, What did you do to her? Nothing really. I sure. Yes, please. You did nothing. You said you want to be alone. Yes, we've been quarreling, fighting, and then it you've keeps been happening. you've been fighting for no reason. Uh, it just keep coming. Okay. All right. Where is she? She is at Cape Coast. And right she's now. alone. Yes. And where are you? You are in Kumasi. I'm in Kumasi, right? Mm. So uh, she lives at Cape Coast all by herself. Yes. She's a nurse. She's a nurse there. Yeah. Mm. All right. Let me pray for you, okay? All right. Uh, it, it is not something that has to do with you. It has to do with her and one of her siblings. Okay. In fact, as an older sister, even a tip of being a mate, I'm 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 a tip of being a mate, Mm. And to your mom pioneer, uh, Nera de M. One. Hm. This are my warrior name, muscle. 
na ma ware na ma so be me be be ansa na be yesa because obi nnu apany bi empeso bo ware so man nji na ni monyam e ni nnu apany okay i can even describe it to you mm nnu no o o on se da nwa that i say oyo oyo ba o but that say the what say the wa bo bi sa no i say oyo oyo onye macho but that say we hwe na say the like me, or the kid like hey, Bisa, and now we cock a cabin, the color no, and the color a dasso, sir. Oh, we cock a crab, that's the color nature than nasso. So, hey, and Nitrini, no, or it does, she doesn't keep a long hair, she normally keeps a short hair. Mama, a clue, but but home why? Nera the more. Father, I pray for your son and I pray for the marriage. I pray for the for the young lady who is being resisted by the family, by her own sibling. Father, I pray blocking access and blocking every every door of opportunity that you have closed for this young lady. Father, I open her marital door and I, I pray, oh God, driving out the demons that are monitoring her life to make sure that she doesn't marry. I destroy that spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that it all is done in Jesus' name. Amen. My, my brother, call her tomorrow. Call her exactly at 9 a.m. Hello? Yeah. Did you hear me? Hello? Hello. Oh, we've lost you. Good Hello. evening. Hello? Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. Before I speak to you, the gentleman who called earlier... I'm telling you tomorrow, call, call if, you, and I'm sure you are still listening to me. Tomorrow, please call your 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 fiance 9 a.m. Check up on her and don't tell her what I've told you yet, please. Don't tell her what I've told you yet, but you pray for her that whoever is resisting her marriage, okay, may the Lord deal with her, okay. But just call her, check up on her. And just be lovey dovey with her, and everything will become fine. Okay, <laughs> just just my rehearse what you have to say to to her tomorrow, and she'll be fine. Okay, God bless. You. Let me take another call. Okay, I've lost this caller. Sorry. Oh, uh, oh, uh, zero three two two zero eight three five nine six zero three two two zero eight three five nine seven. Hello. Hello. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. Kindly let me know your name, please. Uh, my name is Jacob. Your name is? Jacob. Jacob. Yes. Jacob, how can I help? Uh, a few years ago, I've always tried to pro pro to make progress in my education, but nothing I've failed. You are trying to progress in your education. Are you writing the exams now? I've, uh, I've, 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 I'm not writing. You are not writing any exams? No. But when you write, you don't pass. When I apply, I don't get. When you apply, you don't get. Yes. Oh, really? What course do you want to do? I want to go to college. You want to go to college? Yes. All right, let me t tell you something. Go for the next one, okay? Okay. Go and apply for the next one. This time around, you get. Okay. Okay? Okay. As simple as that. I don't even need to pray for you. Just listen to the words that I'm speaking to you right now. Your next okay. application, your next college application you will make will be successful. Okay. All right. Thanks for calling. Thank you. All right. Bye for now. 03220835960320835978. Good morning. Hey, good evening. The video. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, kindly speak up for me. Okay. Your name and where you calling from, please. Solomon from Kumasi. Solomon, Solomon, let me hear you. Oh, Solo, kindly speak up, okay? Okay. Mm. Um, I have this dream and I'm not understanding it, so I want you to explain. All right, go ahead. Okay, um, it was almost a year ago. I saw seven. My brother, did you just wake up? Hello? You sound like somebody who just woke up from sleep. Hello? Yes, please speak up, okay? Okay. Go ahead. I, said, um, I saw seven stars in the sky. You saw seven stars in the sky? Yes, please. 
Mm-hmm. And um, right behind me was my girlfriend. And right behind you was your girlfriend. Uh huh. Um, I saw my late grandmother. You saw your late grandmother in the dream. Yes. And where where was your late gran grandmother? Um, she was lying down. She was lying down. Yes. Okay. And um, I I saw someone a defeated person. Let me put it in that. You saw who? Um, someone. I can describe the person, and that person, I mean, put me down and wanted to sleep with me. And that person wanted to sleep with you. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's, that's the dream. Yeah. All right. It's, 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 it's a very good dream, but you see, the difference is that, one, the, the seven stars you saw, okay, represent seven levels of your life. That is so bright. Listen, oh, we have the, the glory, serious glory. That the Lord has given you that is ahead of you because you saw these seven stars ahead of you but behind you you saw somebody and who is that your girlfriend right and you also saw your grandmother who was dead and also saw somebody who wanted to sleep with you right so these three people listen I don't know whether you are still with your girlfriend but this is your dream I'm giving you the interpretation all right the one who is was behind you will pull you down. You will not see the star if you carry the woman behind you along. Are you listening? Okay. Now, the other man who wanted to marry you, okay, is a spirit that came from your grandmother who was dead. That they, what happened to your grandmother? Okay, not that because not because she died or, or the sickness, but there was a spirit that was in control in your in your family. Okay, and that spirit is following you, and that spirit has actually married you. And if the spirit has married you, there is nothing you will do that will work. You you choose the wrong woman that will dim your stars. Are you listening? Because right now, if those demons are involved, or these monetary spirits are monitoring you, for example, if they are monitoring, because they all, they've all seen the star. And because the stars are there, they want to dim the star. How are they going to dim it? They will bring somebody who can bring your life backwards. And that's why you saw your girlfriend. So it was through, it will be through a woman. Okay? That will, will dim your star. Or buy a solar because this spirit but i'm gonna pray for you though because you see the spirit that monitors you will lead you to the wrong woman the spirit that is at work no will lead you to the wrong people around you so you know you will never get people to help you until your star diminishes it means that we do, do, do god created you to be a star but you can't be a star because they've taken that thing away from you. Please do understand. I know you love your girlfriend, but trust me, <laughs> this is not, it's from your own dream. Okay? So you think about it. Just think about it very, very well and make a decision. Make a very meaningful decision as to what you need to do. Okay, let me pray for you. Father, I pray for your son. Father, these are monetary spirits that followed her grandmother and these spirits are monitoring his life monitoring his life and the seven stars that you showed him represents power represents fame represents good life different levels of power different levels of life prosperity wealth father i thank you for his life the enemy wants to pull him back any woman in his life fighting against his progress father may you remove this woman in the name of jesus anyone who have access to his soul have access to his body have access to his spirit from today i block them and i deliver him from spiritual marriage right now in the mighty name of jesus 
Father, I thank you that you've heard me. And I thank you that it is done. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm. My brother, it's all good. God bless you. Mm. All right. Let me take two more calls and I'll uh, end the program. 03220 03 03 03 03 03 03 03 03 03 03 03 03 03 03 03 03 03 03 03 03 03 03 03 03 03 03 03 03 Zero three two two zero eight three five nine six zero three two two zero eight three five nine seven. I'm lo I've lost this one too. Okay. Hello. Yes. Good evening, Pastor. Good evening. Your name and where you calling from, please. My name is Philip from Santa Fe. Philip from Santa Fe. Philip, let me hear you. Uh, two days ago, I had a dream. Go ahead. In the dream, I'm a pharmacist actually. Mm -hmm. In the dream, I had written my professional exam. Mm -hmm. And the results had come, and I had passed. Mm -hmm. And I was with my brother. He's an engineer. Mm -hmm. And he had also written an exam. Mm -hmm. But he hadn't passed. Then I woke up. Pre just pray for your brother. It is a very simple dream. You do, it doesn't need any serious interpretation. Just pray your brother so that your brother will pass. Okay? Is, is that our exam? Yes. There's no exam. You're not writing any exams. Your brother is not writing any exams. No, we are all done with school. You are we all are done with school. Yes. Wow. Okay. Then let me let me let me seek the uh, proper interpretation for this for you, Marco Lobrande Shaha. Okay. You had there was in a dream. You were you had written an exams. Yes. And you had passed. Yes. But your brother had not passed. Had not passed. But yes. your brother is an engineer. Yes. And you are also a pharmacist. A pharmacist. All right. Now let me give you the interpretation now. Okay. okay. Let me give you the interpretation now. There is a, a place and there's a level where your brother is supposed to go. Okay, Pastor. Are you listening? Hello. Hello, Pastor. Looks like your concentration is not here. No, I was at the checkpoint. Okay. <laughs> All right. There's a place, there's a level your brother is supposed to go. Are you listening? Yes, please. That your brother may not reach that place. So the prayer is for your brother, not for yourself. Okay. Because there's a level your brother is supposed to go. But your brother will not reach unless we pray. Okay. Is that okay? Yes, please. So let me pray for your brother. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus for... Uh, what's the name of your brother? Edward. Edward. Father, I pray for Edward, Lord. There is a height that you are taking him. Lord, any spirit that will pull him back... Father, I command those spirits to leave right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I pray, oh God, that's you have revealed to your son. Father, it means you are ready to work on it and redeem. Therefore, I pray, I transform the life of this brother, Edward, that from today, the highest that he's supposed to get to, let him get to that place in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Uh, oh, no, brother, why not be? Thank you. I'm not going to be because Obi our being chair on the SNK Oye chair, but Obi a chair, oh brother, no, because of this thing. That's why God wants you to pray. Why? Mm. All right, bless you. All right, zero three two two zero eight three five nine six. My last call up. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, dear. Your name and where you calling from? Please come and see. I'm here from. Kenya. I clear from Kenya. I clear. Let me hear you. Please, sir. Battling spiritual marriage. Battling spiritual marriage. Yes, please. Don't worry. Today is your last time. Mm? Mm -hmm. Are you married? No, please. Do you have a child? Yes, I have. How many children do you have? I have one. You have one. Yes, please. But you're not married. Yes, please. Okay. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna pray for you because this spiritual marriage, when you have it, it will be hard for you to get married. See. The men may come and they may impregnate you, but they won't marry you. Because spiritually, you're already having a, a spouse. See? And they will compete and find a way to, to kick, kick the, 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 the human spouse away. But I'm, I'm going to pray for you today and your life will turn around. Father, I pray for your daughter right now. Mm -hmm. Father, I counsel and I nullify the marriage in the spirit. Father, this is something orchestrated by the devil to bring your daughter backwards. Father, as I pray for her right now, I block access to her soul. 
I block access to her spirit. I block access to her body. From today, they will look for her. They will not find her. Father, from today, I remove that black ring on her finger right now. The ring that was put on her, I take that ring out now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, I change the clothes of your daughter. I put on her a new clothing, a clothing of power, a clothing of fire. I put on her right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that you've heard me and you've answered. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Thank you. Mr. From today, you will not see anybody sleeping with you in your dreams again. Yes, it's all gone. Okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, God bless you. All right, that's all time will permit us. My brother, Philip, yep. your final message. Um, we thank God so far. Mm. We thank God for the many miracles. Um, we hope to, now that we are almost done with our spiritual gifting, we know the Holy Spirit will lead us to teach something else that will be to the edification of um, the faith mm -hmm. of people on, on faith work so stay tuned um, make sure you are here every Sunday from 9 and um, we will treat you to a very good piece of um, God word and miracles mm -hmm. God bless you so much God bless you so much some of you have seen all these miracles if you you have some of you couldn't get through uh, you may send me a voice note of whatever your problem may be. Send it to 0275 I will listen to it and I will respond with a prayer or maybe a direction that I want you to do. Okay. Uh, we are Faith Walk Love and Encounter Ministries located at the Puma Flint Station near the Abinchi Market area. So if you come to the Abinchi area around the Doom, the, we are inside the station, the filling station. As the full attendance, the entrance to the to the church, they will show you. We meet every Sunday at 10 a.m. and we meet every Wednesday, every Wednesday for healing and deliverance service. Wednesdays are the time that are open to the public to come for healing and for deliverance. Uh, things that you don't understand in your life. You need, if you need word of knowledge, word of prophecy, uh, word of uh, wisdom, uh, you may come and the Lord is going to deliver you. And you can see, come and experience the power of God. Last Wednesday was on fire. God healed many sicknesses, different kinds of sicknesses, different kinds of diseases. And he's going to do it again over and over. So join us this Wednesday at 10 a.m. And also join us on Friday for our prayer service. Our prayer is full of power, full of fire. So join us 6 p.m. every Friday for the prayer service. And also on Saturday on Love FM, uh, Saturday 3 a.m. sharp. We are here praying, praying in the spirit. Uh, there are so many testimonies that are coming up uh, through this program. Some of you, you can testify to what the Lord is doing to your lives, and many of them. Uh, and if you have a testimony, please, can you send me a voice note so that I can share your testimony live on air so that it will encourage somebody? Send me a voice note on 0275-8888-0275-8888. God bless you so much. I uh, have a message for you. And... This is the um, uh, okay. This is a message that was produced during the healing and deliverance service on Wednesday, and it's entitled "The Powers of Darkness Against the Powers of Light." And you have to hear this message; is really going to be a blessing uh, to you. God bless you so much. I'll see you on Wednesday during the healing and deliverance service. Have a wonderful night. Welcome to Love Encounter Faith Work Ministries. I know the Lord has been good to you in every area of your life. At Faith Work, the Lord shall meet your needs according to His riches and glory. Join us this and every Sunday from 10 a.m. for our Sunday service, Wednesday 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. for our deliverance and healing service, and on Friday from 6.30 p.m. for our prayer service. Worship with us and the Lord shall supernaturally turn your situation around. Locate Love Encounter Faith Work Ministries at at Adum Abinchi Market area. You can also reach us on our social media platforms on Facebook and Instagram as Erica Say and Love Encounter Faith Walk and on YouTube as Erica Say and Faith Walk Love. Email us at faithworklove at gmail.com. Call us on 0275-888-888. Love Encounter Faith Walk Ministries. Welcome to Love Encounter Faith Work Ministries. I know the Lord has been good to you in every area of your life. 
At Faith Walk, the Lord shall meet your needs according to his riches and glory. Join us this and every Sunday from 10 a.m. for Sunday service, Wednesday 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. for deliverance and healing service, and on Friday from 6.30 p.m. for a prayer service. Worship with us and the Lord shall supernaturally turn your situation around. Locate Love Encounter Faith Walk Ministries at Adum Abinchi Market area. You can also reach us on our social media platforms on Facebook and Instagram as Erica Say and Love Encounter Faith Walk and on YouTube as Erica Say and Faith Walk Love. Email us at faithworklove at gmail.com. Call us on 0275-888-888. Love Encounter Faith Walk Ministries. Welcome to Love Encounter Faith Work Ministries. I know the Lord has been good to you in every area of your life. At Faith Work, the Lord shall meet your needs according to His riches and glory. Join us this and every Sunday from 10 a.m. for our Sunday service, Wednesday 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. for deliverance and healing service, and on Friday from 6.30 p.m. for a prayer service. Worship with us and the Lord shall supernaturally turn your situation around. Locate Love Encounter Faith Work Ministries at at Adum Abinchi Market area. You can also reach us on our social media platforms on Facebook and Instagram as Erica Say and Love Encounter Faith Walk and on YouTube as Erica Say and Faith Walk Love. Email us at faithworklove at gmail.com. Call us on 0275-888-888. Love Encounter Faith Walk Ministries. Welcome to Love Encounter Faith Work Ministries. I know the Lord has been good to you in every area of your life. At Faith Walk, the Lord shall meet your needs according to His riches and glory. Join us this and every Sunday from 10 a.m. for our Sunday service, Wednesday 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. for deliverance and healing service, and on Friday from 6.30 p.m. for a prayer service. Worship with us and the Lord shall supernaturally turn your situation around. Locate Love Encounter Faith Work Ministries at Adum Abinchi Market area. You can also reach us on our social media platforms on Facebook and Instagram as Erica Say and Love Encounter Faith Walk and on YouTube as Erica Say and Faith Walk Love. Email us at faithworklove at gmail.com. Call us on 0275-888-888. Love Encounter Faith Walk Ministries. Welcome to Love Encounter Faith Work Ministries. I know the Lord has been good to you in every area of your life. At Faith Work, the Lord shall meet your needs according to His riches and glory. Join us this and every Sunday from 10 a.m. for our Sunday service, Wednesday 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. for deliverance and healing service, and on Friday from 6.30 p.m. for a prayer service. Worship with us and the Lord shall supernaturally turn your situation around. Locate Love Encounter Faith Work Ministries at at Adum Abinchi Market area. You can also reach us on our social media platforms on Facebook and Instagram as Erica Say and Love Encounter Faith Walk and on YouTube as Erica Say and Faith Walk Love. Email us at faithworklove at gmail.com. Call us on 0275-888-888. Love Encounter Faith Walk Ministries. Welcome to Love and